It is the fastest growing type of cosmetic surgery, women enhancing their backsides. But some women aspiring to obtain those curvy figures like stars like Beyonce are turning to an underground world of dangerous backroom procedures. Lisa Guerrero has our iSquad investigation. From J-Lo to Beyonce to Kim Kardashian, these days having a plump, curvaceous behind is certainly an asset in Hollywood. Pump it up and back it up like a Tonka truck. And it's become the latest craze in cosmetic surgery. Women are paying big bucks to get curves like the stars. We found a shady underground world of people who allegedly create big butts with strange cocktails filled with things like liquid cement and fix a flat sold for tire repairs. Imagine using these products to give you a bigger, more beautiful behind like the stars. But this is what the results really look like. Women scarred forever. Not exactly the celebrity sex appeal so many were hoping for. I felt that I would look sexy if I had a big butt. Gabby Castillo always envied Jennifer Lopez's sexy moves. She wasn't satisfied with her own curves, so she paid 6,000 bucks to get a more voluptuous backside. Not long after the procedure, this lump appeared on her behind. It grew into a life-threatening infection. I remember the horror of not knowing if I was going to live. Doctors told Gabby she'd been injected with an unknown contaminated substance. She had to undergo 28 surgeries, which removed the infection and most of her behind. She's left with permanent scars and has to wear prosthetic pads just to feel normal. What patients are doing without knowing it, they're rolling the dice. They're actually playing Russian roulette with their health. So who are the people who perform these type of backroom procedures? This is one of them. Her name is Melina Jackson. Our producer posed as a customer with $500 cash in hand and met her at a hotel outside Cleveland. It's a risky, risky business. She runs her own injection business, complete with a PowerPoint presentation and pictures of her clients. I have over 30 clients. She says she's even had it done herself. You have nothing to worry about. You but know. she's not a doctor, and what she's doing is illegal. She asked our producer to go to another location for the injections. That's when I walked in. Hi, I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside oh, Edition. Doctor, you, you realize that you're putting people's lives at risk by doing illegal injections? Do you realize that you're putting people's lives at risk? Secret meetings in motel rooms aren't the only way people are getting these injections. You can actually do it yourself by ordering an online kit from, get this, buttinjectionkits.com. All we had to do is send a $600 money order to a New Jersey address. A week later, our kit arrived. And what was inside? Ordinary Band-Aids and a few alcohol swabs. Oh. And this, 30 giant syringes filled with a gooey substance they said was medical grade silicone oil. But a lab we hired to test the substance said it was actually a type of adhesive used in things like toothpaste and detergent. And it was far from sterile, a potentially toxic substance, just like what was injected into Gabby. She's warning others, don't do it. It's not worth it at all. It's not worth it at all. Plastic surgeons say the only safe way to enhance one's backside is through surgical implants or by transferring fat from another part of one's body done by board-certified plastic surgeons.